boxing event to ever take place in Puerto Rico is a massive, historic main event. 12 three-minute rounds. She's the queen of the island. The real deal. Amanda Serrano. There's no backing down. He is looking to make a statement. The Toronto child. El Gallo de Dorado. Jake Paul. Should be the biggest event in Puerto Rican boxing history, and it's going to be a night to remember. Puerto Rico. My name is Todd Grisham, Dan Canovio, and speaking of great Puerto Rican fighters, Gabe Rosado is here. It's like a party, Gabe. What's going on tonight? Oh, man, this is Puerto Rico, bro. It's different over here. It's different. It's a party. And what does this event, this fight, not only mean for Amanda Serrano's career, but what does it mean for Puerto Rico itself? No, this is big for Puerto Rico. Puerto Rico is a, is a country of boxing, man. Tito Trinidad, Camacho, Miguel Cotto. Now we got Serrano back. Like, it's big for the island. All right, as far as the fights themselves, of course, Amanda Serrano Taking on a relatively unknown opponent, Nina Maika. What can you tell us about her? About Nina Maika, riding a six-fight win streak. She's ranked number one by the IVF. This is a very big stage. Right? This is Amanda Serrano. Doesn't get any bigger in women's boxing. But she was on a big stage. 2017, she fought Katie Taylor. That was on the AJ uh, card uh, against Glitchko. So she's been there, and she's worked her way back to get this title shot. It's her first fight with 12 three-minute rounds. It's going to be a, a really tough climb for her, but she can do it. And then I'll ask him another question until you tell me I'm done. And then I'll say, with that, we turn it over to the host of today's uh, weigh-in. That is Ariel Hawani. I do that up. Is that okay? It's who? Oh, what's Ariel doing? Oh, Lupe. I'm glad you told me that. Lupe Contreras. Okay. So how long does Chris have us jabber John up here for? Like two minutes? Oh, five. Five. Perfect. We got plenty of time. I do that up. Sabalenka being crowned champion once again showing the world why he is the greatest left hook on the temple unbelievable we start with a special showcase now it's an absolute monster of a lightweight She wasn't going for goal, but she'll happily accept it. 
It's gone all the way through. And look at this! Joinda! Did you dare right Barcelona off? The career of one of the all-time greats is all but over. He must come back. Uma oportunidade de dizer alguma coisa que eu que eu acho que nunca disse. NFL Game Pass is now exclusively on the zone. Let's get this thing going. Watch every game, plus the playoffs and Super Bowl. To the end zone. What a it's your all-access pass. The following program is recommended for those 16 and over as it contains sporting violence, possible bad language and flashing imagery. We are live in beautiful Puerto Rico, home of some of the all-time great boxers, Trinidad, Cotto, Camacho, and perhaps the greatest of them all, Amanda Serrano. Her homecoming fight is tomorrow, and the weigh-in is next. The biggest boxing event to ever take place in Puerto Rico is a massive, historic main event. 12 three-minute rounds. She's the queen of the island. The real deal. Amanda Serrano. There's no backing down. He is looking to make a statement. The Prado child. El Gallo de Dorado. Jake Paul. Should be the biggest event in Puerto Rican boxing history, and it's going to be a night to remember. And with that, we welcome you to Distrito T-Mobile, ladies and gentlemen. We thought it was going to be a weigh-in here, but this is a party, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Todd Grisham, alongside Dan Canobio, and speaking of great Puerto Rican fighters, Gabe Rosado in the flesh. Gabe, what's going on here tonight? Man, it's Puerto Rico, man. It's called Bejareo and Boxeo. It's popping in here, man. Yeah, well, it's going to be popping tomorrow night as well. Amanda Serrano with her homecoming fights. What does that fight mean for this island and for Amanda's career? It's big. You know, Puerto Rico is a, is a, is a country of boxing, championship fights. Miguel Cotto, Felix Trinidad, Camacho, Wilfredo Benitez. Now you've got Serrano coming back, defending her title. It's big. Yeah, and she's fighting a relative unknown, at least to, to the casual boxing fan. Nina Micah. From Germany, tell us a little bit about it. Yeah, Mikey ranked number one by the IBF, riding a six-fight win streak. This is a very big stage, quite possibly the biggest stage in women's boxing right now. But she's been on similar stages before. She fought Katie Taylor. It was back in 2017. She's on a, on the win streak, and she's looking to not only get in the ring but become a world champion, which she told us was a a goal of hers. Yeah, Kate. Amanda's always wanted to come back and fight on this island. We're expecting close to 18,000 fans tomorrow. How much pressure is going to be on her shoulders? I think she's built for this. So I think we're going to see one of our, the best performances from Amanda. She's built for this. We saw it in the Kaylee Taylor fight in New York. It was packed. 
and she put on a hell of a show, and I think that's what we're going to see with Amanda here in Puerto Rico. And with Amanda being such an advocate for women's boxing, trying to push the sport forward, 12 three-minute rounds, maybe the first time for Mainka uh, doing that, but we looked at Amanda Serrano in her last fight. She's a workhorse. She throws a ton of punches in rounds 10 through 12. She averaged over 100 punches thrown the championship round, so expect punches and bunches on, on Saturday night, and she always puts on a show. Well, she always puts on a show, but we haven't seen that knockout performance that she's been promis promising us. I think it's been seven straight fights, Gabe. Do you see her getting the KO performance tomorrow? You know, I, I do. This is three-minute rounds. I believe that she will have the opportunity to break her opponent down. And it's Puerto Rico, so she got that edge where she's going to go for the kill. I just see it in her eyes. She kind of got, she's just focused and she's locked in. Micah has that 20K knockout bonus. Yeah, that's about right, that. $20,000 if she knocks out Amanda Serrano. I think that money's safe, just to, to go on a limb here. But one face you don't see around here right now, where's Jake Paul's face? The attention-seeking guy that no one thought was taking boxing seriously has pushed her to the forefront. He's in the co-main event and has slid in the background, Gabe. You were talking earlier about he's doing things differently, and you're really starting to like it. Yeah, you know, I respect what Jake Paul's doing. He's giving Amanda Serrano uh, the opportunity to showcase her skill and earn the kind of money that she deserves. And, you know, Amanda, she's been a champion for a while, and just to put her on this platform in Puerto Rico, it's it's great. Mad, mad respect for Jake Paul for doing that. This is the way he wants it, right? He's on this new his new stage of his career. He wants to take on real boxers. Ryan Borland, 17 and two, three-time Golden Globes uh, champion. But Jake said, I, I want to put Amanda on. This is this is her hometown, this is her home country. I would never be the main event in this one. But it, it's crazy to think that Jake is kind of taking a back seat. But that just shows you how he's maturing, not only in the ring, but as a promoter, too. He's fighting Ryan Borland, who's uh, right now working on an oil rig in North Dakota. Not right now, but he was working there. He says, hey, if I can do that, I can beat Jake Paul. He's going to get his chance tomorrow night. Let's get this weigh-in party. I wouldn't say started. Let's keep it rolling, ladies and gentlemen. It's a fiesta here in San Juan. Let's go live on the stage in Lupe Contreras. Puerto Rico. Bienvenidos a Distrito T-Mobile. As we continue with one of the most exciting weeks in sports, it is Fight Week. This upcoming Saturday night, El Choliseo va a temblar, a historic. Women's bout taking place here at El Choliseo de Puerto Rico. It is the return of the queen of boxing, Amanda the Real Deal Serrano. She'll be defending her unified featherweight championship of the world. It is only for the second time ever in the history of boxing that two women will be going 12 three-minute rounds. On the other side of the ring, we have the mandatory challenger. Coming all the way from Germany, we have Nina the Brave Meinke. That will be our main event. They'll be coming up a little bit later on. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Lupe Contreras. I will be your host for this weigh-in. Joining me on stage, please welcome one of the masterminds of this mega event. He is co-founder of MVP, a round of applause for Nakisa Baderian. Also joining us from La Honorable Comisión de Boxeo Profesional de Puerto Rico, the commission, making sure everything is official this evening. We have the president, Miguel Laureano, secretary, Rey Quiñones, and our commissioner, Jose Miguel Perez. As we mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, this is just the penultimate event of a tremendous week of action taking place here in Puerto Rico, the biggest card they hit the island in quite some time. But before they can face their opponents, they have to overcome the scale. The MVP official weigh-in starts now, we call, to the stage. Opening up the action tomorrow night. Set four, six rounds in the welterweight division. First, the step on the scale. He comes to us from Medellin, Colombia. He has a record of eight victories against eight losses, four draws. Seven of those victories coming by way of knockout. He is fighting out of the red corner. Please welcome Alejandro Munera weighing in. We're expecting a capacity crowd tomorrow night at El Coliseo de Puerto Rico. Get there early. Some of the top young talent in the sport facing their toughest opposition to date on the scale. Alejandro Munera. 148.6, 148.6. 
el peso oficial, the official weight for the fighter from Colombia. Across the ring in the blue corner. Tomorrow night he puts his undefeated record on the line on the biggest stage in the sport. The MVP boxing ring, please welcome. Undefeated at 7-0 with two KOs. Elijah Tutek Flores weighing in. 149 pounds, 149. El peso que marca. Elijah Flores tomorrow night opening up the action. El Choliseo de Puerto Rico va a temblar. It will be shaking. We're expecting a capacity crowd. Floor to ceiling tomorrow night. This will open up. The action tomorrow get there early. One of the most highly touted prospects in the sport, Elijah Flores, facing off against the rugged fighter from Colombia, Alejandro Munera. Our opening action tomorrow night. Our next contest to hit the stage set for four rounds in the junior welterweight division. First, fighting out of the red corner, fighting out of Las Piedras, Puerto Rico. Please welcome Christopher Ortiz. One thirty nine point six, the official weight. 139.6, el peso oficial for the fighter making his pro debut tomorrow evening here in San Juan, Puerto Rico. His opposition fighting out of the blue corner from Carolina, Puerto Rico. Omar Pacheco on the scale. One forty on the nose. One four zero. Uno cuarenta. Uno cuatro cero. El peso oficial. Also making his debut tomorrow night. Both of these fighters are making the leap into the big leagues of boxing on the biggest stage. The biggest fight to hit Puerto Rico. Taking place tomorrow night at El Choliseo. You can catch the prelims live on both the MVP and the Zone YouTube channels. It is Ortiz, Pacheco. Someone's gonna take an L tomorrow night in their pro debut. We continue with our feature preliminary bout tomorrow night set for 10 round super featherweight division first to weigh in fighting out of Jonesboro, Georgia. Please welcome Heedley Scott to the scale.
130. The official weight for Scott. Across the ring tomorrow night, one of the most popular fighters on the island making his return to Puerto Rico in over eight years. He is known as El Hijo de la Montaña from Barraquitas, Puerto Rico, El Pitufo. Christopher Diaz weighing in. One twenty nine point six, ciento veintinueve punto seis. The official way for the fighter making his homecoming after eight years away, Pitufo Diaz, our featured preliminary bout tomorrow night. Once again, you can catch all the prelims on both the NVP and the Zone YouTube channels live from right here in Puerto Rico. Ladies and gentlemen, over the years, one of the best rivalries in sport has been Mexico versus Puerto Rico in boxing. And tomorrow night, it continues. Two undefeated fighters will go toe-to-toe -to -toe inside of El Choliseo. We welcome the first of them. It is four-round super flyweight division coming to us from Los Angeles, California. Of Mexican descent, please welcome the undefeated Gloria Munguia weighing in. Under 14.4 pounds, the official weight for Munguia. Across the ring tomorrow night from Puerto Rico. She is a phenom of boxing, undefeated as well. Hailing from the city of Carolina, please welcome Cristo Rosado weighing in. One fifteen on the nose, ciento quince libras el peso oficial. But the undefeated Cristo Rosado, the rivalry continues tomorrow night. Mexico, Puerto Rico, two undefeated fighters. Someone is going to take an L on the biggest stage in professional boxing, the MVP boxing ring, on the biggest card to hit Puerto Rico. Big opportunity for you, big opportunity for her, just 2-0, and oh, she represents this island. Do you feel at all like this is too much too soon for Crystal? Um, I feel that like both of us are going to give a great fight. I know she has experience, I have experience, so it's going to be a great matchup. Looking forward to it. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right, let's have a quick word with Puerto Rico's own Crystal Rosado. Show some love to Crystal. Crystal, what an opportunity for you at just 21 years of age in just your third pro fight to fight in your home island in front of these great people tomorrow at El Choliseo. Can you describe the emotions, the feelings that you are experiencing just 24 hours before the fight? 
están en una tremenda oportunidad mañana por la noche. Estás muy jovencita, vas empezando tu carrera. ¿Qué significa para ti pelear en un estadio completamente lleno mañana en esta noche tan especial? Eh, Súper contenta, agradecida. Esto es un sueño hecho realidad. Y nada, con, con lo preparada que estoy, pues dar la pelea de mañana, dar lo mejor de mí. I'm very, very happy, super excited for tomorrow night. I'm going to show up tomorrow night and just give the absolute best part of myself tomorrow. Gracias. Good luck. Ladies and gentlemen, this time we also like to welcome to the stage two of the latest, actually one of the latest signees for MVP promotions. He's a social media sensation. He came to us all the way from across the world. One of the biggest stars in India, one of the most successful fighters in Indian history. Please welcome to the stage. Nareej Goyats. Also joining us on stage, she is a heavy hitter. You've seen her many times on the MVP ring. Please welcome Shadeshia Green. Look for those two heavy hitters to make the debut or return to the ring with MVP promotions and we continue with our official weigh-in. Ladies and gentlemen, one more fight coming up later on, but also we'd like to welcome to the stage the one and only Ruby Rose. We continue with our way, and ladies and gentlemen, here at Distrito T-Mobile, our next contest set for four rounds, super featherweight division. Fighting out of the red corner, he comes to us from Simi Valley, California. Please welcome Joshua La Torre Torres weighing in. One three zero, the official weight for Joshua Torres. Ladies and gentlemen, next to weigh in, he was one of the most coveted signees coming out of the amateur boxing world tomorrow night. He continues his journey in the big leagues of boxing on the absolute biggest stage in the world, making his global debut in the MVP ring. He has taken Hollywood by storm, looking to do the same, becoming a heavy hitter in the world of boxing. Please welcome Javon. Juana Walton weighing in. One hundred thirty pounds, one three zero, weighing in an identical weight for the breakout star of HBO's Euphoria. Now, looking to do the same to conquer the boxing world tomorrow night. He makes his global debut on the biggest stage in professional boxing, on the biggest card to hit Puerto Rico. It is Juan Walton. Joshua Torres, four rounds or less, super featherweight division.
We'll get a quick word with Joshua Torres here. Joshua, as you know, his face is all over the place here. He's one of the stars of MVP. Do you like playing the role of spoiler? Are you relishing the idea of ruining all their big plans for Juana? Of course. My whole life I've been an underdog, and being in this position is nothing new to me. And I can't wait for tomorrow night to show out and make my global debut as well. Good luck to you. Joshua Torres, everyone. Now let's say hello to Javon Juana Walton. He's coming back. He's very excited about his global pro debut. Just a quick word with you, my man. You're very elusive. You're very elusive. Let's show some love to the 17-year-old Javon Juana Walton making his global pro debut tomorrow night. 17, my man. You don't look 17 up there. Game face is on, intense. What do you have to do to pick up your first global pro win tomorrow night? Can't give too much out. Game plan's feeling strong. Can't wait to put on a show tomorrow night. I'm gonna do my thing in the ring. Can't wait for everybody to watch me do it. Can't wait for it as well. Good luck to you, my man. There he is, Javon Juana Walton, everyone. We continue with the official weigh-in. Coming up, the first of our two world title bouts tomorrow evening, this bout, 12 rounds. On the line, the WBO Junior Flyweight Championship of the World. Both fighters are Boricuas. Both fighters hold different versions of this belt first to weigh in. Out of Umacao, Puerto Rico, please welcome the interim title holder, Rene Chulo Santiago, weighing in. Seven pounds, 107, 107 libras. El peso oficial del campeón interino for the interim world champion, René Santiago. Across the ring tomorrow night from Carolina, pardon me, from Caguas, Puerto Rico, the reigning world champion, Jonathan Bomba Gonzalez on the scale. pounds on the nose, 108 libras en punto. The official way for the reigning world champion again tomorrow night. It is guaranteed that a Boricua will leave with the world title, but who will it be? Will it be René Santiago, the interim champ? Will it be the reigning world champ, Jonathan Bomba Gonzalez, tomorrow night? The first of our two world title bouts. Santiago also representing Puerto Rico. What a moment. You know, there's a lot of talk about him defending his title here for the first time, but this is a big opportunity for you too. Can you describe what it's like fighting back home in Puerto Rico for that WBO belt? El público ha hablado mucho sobre que esta es la primera defensa de Jonathan Bombo González, pero para ti, ¿qué significa estar peleando por el título aquí en Puerto Rico? Nada, agradecido, ¿verdad? Con la oportunidad, emocionado, contento, loco que llegue la hora que suene la campana y que gane el mejor. I'm grateful, I'm excited, I'm just waiting for that bell to ring and may the best man win tomorrow night. 
Can't wait for it. Good luck to you. Gracias. And now let's talk to the WBO Junior Flyweight Champion, also representing this great island, Jonathan Bamba Gonzalez. There was a lot of talk about your weigh-in. No problems there. What did you say to Renee up there? It got pretty intense. Hope he's ready, man. Hope he's ready. They talked a lot about my weight. I did 108 pounds. And now tomorrow we're going to be ready to do my third defense. Can't wait for it. Good luck to you. God bless you, man. Puerto Rico, make some noise for Jonathan Gonzalez. We continue with the official weigh-in. As, um, as we mentioned, ladies and gentlemen, tomorrow night, the biggest card to hit Puerto Rico and the great history of this island. Our featured bout in our co-main event tomorrow night. Please welcome, set for eight rounds, cruiserweight division. He is here to shock the world. He comes from Vallejo, California. Also training out of Dickinson, North Dakota. Please welcome the Rhino. Ryan Borland weighing in. One hundred ninety seven point four, ciento noventa siete punto cuatro. The official weight for Ryan Borland, and next on the scale, ladies and gentlemen, one of the biggest social media stars ever. 26 million Instagram followers can't be wrong. And now, he is disrupting the world of boxing. Please welcome El Gallo de Dorado, Puerto Rico, the problem child, Jake Paul weighing in. The official way for El Gallo de Dorado, Jake the Problem Child Paul, tomorrow night, our co main event of the evening. El Choliseo de Puerto Rico va a temblar, it will be floor to ceiling, ram packed. It is the Rhino, Ryan Borland, here to spoil the party. And he is guaranteed a second round knockout. The problem child, Jake Paul. I'm here with the Rhino, Ryan Borland. Nice little turnout for you over here. You're a, you're a fan favorite. Great to see. Has he made this personal? I saw he took your hat yesterday, threw it into the crowd, said some stuff to you up here. Has he crossed the line at all? No, I figured all that was going to happen, so he, we, pl we planned on it happening. How do you win? By getting our hand raised. Sure, but how? What do you do? Do exactly what we got to do, adjust however, however we got to adjust and, and get the W. Good luck to you. Thank you. All right, now let's say hello to the problem child, Jake Paul, everyone. 
He's representing Cleveland, but he is now calling Puerto Rico home. Jake, we've done this once or twice in the past. You're always very hyped. Your thoughts, your emotions, your feelings before your next pro bout. Fuck the rhino. Fuck the rhino. Fuck the rhino. Hey, Puerto Rico. Are y'all ready? I said, are y'all ready? I'm feeling good, Ariel. I want to do this for Puerto Rico. I'm sick and tired of these dumbass rhinos walking around this motherfucking island. Tomorrow, the rhinos are going extinct. I promise you that. How do you win? KO. Easy money. You already know how I do it, bro. Stop playing with me, Ariel. Stop playing with me. What round? Two rounds or less. Come on. Can't wait for it. Good luck to you, Jake. Guys, make some noise for El Gallo de Dorado. Tomorrow night, ladies and gentlemen, is a historic night here in Puerto Rico for only the second time ever. A unified featherweight championship of the world. Two women going 12 three-minute rounds. Our main event makes its way to the stage on the line. The IBF, the WBO, the WBA, the IBO, and the Ring Magazine Featherweight Championships of the World. Please welcome, hailing all the way from Germany, the mandatory challenger here to spoil the party, Nina the Brave Monkey. One hundred twenty-five point two, one two five point two, ciento veinticinco punto dos for the challenger from Germany, Nina the Brave Meinke. Now weighing in, ladies and gentlemen, she makes a great return to Puerto Rico, seven division world champion, one of the greatest combat sports athletes in history. Please welcome. The real deal, Amanda Serrano. Tomorrow night, she puts all her belts on the line, weighing in the unified world champion. One twenty-five point six, ciento veinticinco punto seis. The official weight for Amanda, the real deal, Serrano. 
and talk to the woman who brought this show to Puerto Rico, one of the greatest fighters of all time, the unified featherweight world champion fighting in her 50th pro fight tomorrow night. What a moment for you, Amanda. But I am curious, no face-to-face -face this time. Why? It's game time, baby. <laughs> Can you describe what this all means to you? Not only coming home, but the three-minute rounds, 50th pro fight unified champion. It's all coming together after all the years, all the struggle. I saw your post on Instagram alluding to all this. What are the emotions right now, 24 hours out? Well, they're running high. Um, it's been a long, long journey. Um, I'm, it's a full circle coming here in Puerto Rico to celebrate my 50th win. Not only it's um, Jordan's birthday, so I gotta make sure I give him a spectacular win. <laughs> Um, in front of my people, the last time I was here, there was like maybe 10 people in the crowd. Now I'm going to be fighting in front of 18,000. I am super excited, super pumped. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. Te quiero mucho, Puerto Rico, te amo. Thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for all the love and support. Thank you for buying the tickets to come out and enjoy. This night is for us. It's for women. Oh, and by the way, to all the beautiful, strong women out there, happy Women's Month. Today is the start of it. Tomorrow, we're going to show that women, we have power. We can go out there. We can sell and we give it all. Me and Nina is going to put on an amazing show for my island. De Puerto Rico, te amo, mafi. <laughs> I love it. Happy birthday, Jordan. Jake, you're here with your girl, Amanda Serrano. Final words to her before her massive night. Hey, easy money, you know what to do. I don't need, I need advice from her. No, she's the best in the business and this just means so much. And I know that she's gonna kill it tomorrow night, breaking history, record gates, all of the above 12 three minute rounds. I just couldn't be more proud of her. Well, you guys are undefeated when you fight on the same card. So perhaps we'll see more of that tomorrow night. Good luck to you both, thank you so much. Ladies and gentlemen, a historic evening tomorrow night, Coliseo de Puerto Rico, El Choliseo va a temblar. If you don't have your tickets in hand quite yet, you can get them tiquetera.com. Or if you're not lucky enough to be here live with us, check it out. On the zone, DAZN.com is the place to be. You can catch the prelims on both the MVP as well as the, the zone platforms. We will send it back to the desk. Thank everyone. We'll see you tomorrow night. There you have it, ladies and gentlemen. The weigh-in is over, but the party has just begun. Gabe, this place is still jumping. We, I, I have to admit something to our producer. We had a beer. We had a beer during the weigh-ins, all right? I couldn't help myself. But, man, that's a lot of fun. And Amanda's, not only is Amanda soaking it up, but how about uh, Nina Micah having the time of her life? No, you know what, man? It's a great environment. It's a party. And it's exciting, man. I can't wait for, I can't wait for this. Yeah, I mean, look at this scene, man. Everyone is out here. This is just the weigh-in. I feel like the Puerto Ricans are just so on fire for boxing. And there's always, who's the next Puerto Rican star? Who's the next Puerto Rican star? It's Amanda Serrano right yeah. now. She's holding that mantle, and she's doing it with great pride. You know, 12 three-minute rounds, so many accolades. 50th fight is just absurd. Uh, I cannot wait for fight night. Yeah, going to be a lot of pressure, though. It's a big party until Amanda starts to struggle. She's a huge favorite tomorrow night. She's promised us a knockout, hasn't had one in seven fights. Let's she, see if she can deliver. We'll have more conversations here with Gabe Rosado and Dan Canobio in just a minute, but let's turn our attention to next week, ladies and gentlemen. The zone, the hits just keep on coming. We go to Saudi Arabia for AJ versus Nganu. Live on the zone worldwide, Friday, March 8th. Joshua versus Ingarno is earthquake in power shot the world. The left fury floor. Big shot from Ingarno. Now back into the ring. He seeks to knock down and knock out. But AJ is back. The pursuit of three times world champ is on. It's all to fight for in knockout chaos. Live on the zone worldwide, Friday, March 8th. Find now at DAZN.com. Look at the lineup we have over the next couple of weeks. We go from Puerto Rico, we go to uh, Saudi Arabia, we come back, we got Haney versus uh, Garcia. There's word that maybe we can get one of the biggest names in the sport coming here. We got Fury versus Usyk. DAZN is the worldwide leader in boxing, and it's not even close. Yes, they do pay me to say that, but it's also true. Ladies and gentlemen, let's turn our attention to what we saw here today. Obviously, Amanda Serrano on cloud nine. Jake said it's going to be easy work, Gabe. Those two words, though, could come back to haunt you, can't they? 
Yeah, man, but you know what? The crowd, the way they react in the Jake, man, it's like he's he's really a Puerto Rican right now. <laughs> he's, <laughs> a, he's el gallo de dorado for real, man. And that's big. That's big for the Puerto Rican crowd to embrace him like that, man. It's a great thing. Let me ask you something. Fighting at home, is it? A, do you like it? Is it too much pressure? Is it, do you thrive off of it? I love it. I love it. And I think Jake and Serrano, they're the type of fighters that they thrive being at home. Some It could break them. Some guys, the lights, camera, action, they fold. But not Jake, not Serrano. They, they live up to the, to, to the height. And keep in mind, this, this is a boxing crazy island, but there hasn't really been a major fight since, what, 2005 when Miguel Cotto defended his title here. You have to go all the way back to 1999 after Tito Trinidad beat Oscar De La Hoya. I was there as a 12-year-old on this island. It was wild, and you feel the same type of enthusiasm for Amanda Serrano. And even Gabe Rosado said today, he said, I'm retired. Let me just tell you, I'm retired, <laughs> but... I would love to come back and do my farewell fight in Puerto Rico, man. If I was to ever get the opportunity, it'd be great, because this island is just magical. Can it's just magical. Out? Absolutely, man. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Right before we go, one other thing that stood out to you from the way, and anybody jump out at you. Javon Wano Walton, 17 years old. I don't want to know what you were doing at 17. I was doing some crazy stuff at 17, not getting into a ring and so focused, obviously. The euphoria, fame, and all that. He's someone to keep an eye on age, at age 17. Yeah, man, you know, the kid and his father, great trainer, great discipline. He's focused. He's locked in. I'm looking forward to seeing that kid. Interesting story about his nickname, Wana, is because when he was growing up, he said, I want to be a boxer. I want to be an actor. I want to do this. And his dad said, you want to do everything. So that's how the name Wana stuck. And we want to see you right back here tomorrow night. Amanda Serrano, her homecoming fight back here in Puerto Rico. Jake Paul in the co-main event. For Gabe and Dan, I'm Todd Grisham. We'll see you on the island tomorrow. Puerto Rico, you're my inspiration, my fighting spirit, my people. Here is where we stand and fight 12 rounds for my belts on my soil. This is what Serrano does. It feels so good to be back. March 2nd, live on The Zone.